What's good, everybody? N.W. Piper. Chuchin on uh, my Savinelli 510KS Sienna with Old Dominion from Watch City Pipe and Cigar. Well, as the man shed uh, continues to evolve, as you guys can see, oh my gosh, look at my hands. So last night, just sorry, really quick. Um, and this has to do with what I'm doing in here, but mm. so last night, uh, I had an idea to line the inside of the shed, all the walls and the ceiling with uh, cedar. And, um, so, you know, when you go into a, a tobacco store or when we used to be able to before they closed down or COVID or whatever, and some are still open, thank God, but you could go into the cigar room and, um, you know, they would have cedar in there um, and it would smell really good and cozy. So I thought, well, why not do this shut up like that? So... Last night, uh, I got a bunch of cedar, and as you guys know, we put in a new fence around the property. So I had a ton of cedar left over, and um, because I was going to build off about, I don't know, 20, 30 extra feet that I didn't actually end up doing. So... Um, what I did is I took that uh, that cedar, those one by sixes, and uh, just started doing the walls. Now this on my hands, I promise you guys. So you know that spray foam stuff that you can spray into like cracks and it expands. Well, as I put on those boards yesterday, um, I would put a board and insulate it, put a board, insulate it, put a board and insulate it with that stuff. And as I was doing it, I was kind of figuring this stuff would be like caulking, you know, that foam stuff would just be, actually, hold on, I'm gonna show you some of it right here. This stuff, see how that says great stuff? Um, this is bad stuff. This ain't great. This is bad. This so like, I'll bet you there's a warning on here about it just destroying your flesh. Anyways, I would put a board spray in there, a board, spray in there. So the walls are gonna be uh, insulated. And you guys know I was worried about the, the structure strength of the, of the building for the winter. So I'm hoping that with this getting lined out in cedar, uh, drinking a little coffee with hazelnut in it this morning I should have went black but was feeling a little a little extra so I want some hazelnut anyway I got the got that the cedar up in here and um, now I got to start oh I got to do the floor too so the flooring it is on a three quarter inch ply But they make you put down this weird plastic, like corrugated. It's like, it's like, I don't know, quarter inch ribs, plastic flooring on the whole thing. And it's uncomfortable and I, I don't know. So I'm probably going to put cedar flooring down too. Kind of like those old Western bars. You'd walk in and. Uh, you know, I don't know. They were probably redwood planks back then, but 
or fur. But I got to get this flooring down next. And then I can bring in some furniture. Um, I had a friend suggest a Farrah Fawcett poster, um, all kinds of different heaters and radios. And um, I got lanterns for lights from Amazon. They're going to be coming uh, Monday unless they get lost like my couch. So when we moved here, we also got uh, new furniture and uh, Amazon is pretty, they can be pretty amazing sometimes. We got furniture on Prime and we got a, a sofa and a love seat and the sofa came in like three days. It was incredible. I was so surprised that Amazon could get it out. And then the love seat is who knows where, it's so crazy. So I live in Oregon and I was tracking it. And one day it said it was in Oregon and Portland. And then the next day it said it's in Mississippi. So anyway, I got to get some furniture in here. I got some flags coming. I got my American flag and my don't tread on me flag. So I'll be able to get my flags up and the lanterns are coming. The lanterns are so, so legit. Um, I got four of them and um, they're gonna be pretty cool. So I need an end table and a, an old man chair, um, some tin art on the wall and um, just kind of has to evolve from there. Um, I love your guys' man sheds. Um, and I'm so inspired by them. And uh, just thankful for all the ideas that you guys give me and suggest to me. Because I, I cache all these things in my brain. And I'm looking around when I go to antique stores for everything you guys are saying that I think would be beneficial in here. So I don't know. I think it's going to be just fine. So, uh, it smells good in here. It smells like piped. It smells like a man's place. Um, my daughter came in here yesterday after I had gotten the cedar up and I had smoked a couple bowls in here and she's like, dad, don't, she's older now. She's moved away and she's got kids of her own and all that. But she comes over, her and, her and uh, my son-in-law, and they bring the grandbabies, and they came in here. And my son-in-law was cool about uh, the smell and smoking in here. And when I say smell, I say that, and I hold that in the most highest regard. Um, our pipes are um, a blessing. I mean, the smell, the aroma that pulls off of these pipes is uh, exceptional. She came in here and she said, don't smoke in here. And I thought, are you out of your mind? What do you think I built all of this for? So, I don't know. So my wife has got a quilt room and I've got the smoke palace. Actually, I got to name this place. Smoke palace. The Temple of Tobacco. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll work on that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think a cool man shed name would be. Because I'm going to get it on wood and then hang it out on the front door. Anyway. Old Dominion. Very smooth, flavorful smoke, you guys. They always do a wonderful job at Watch City Cigar on anything you order. I just ordered up some Nor'easter um, last night while I was in bed at like midnight. You know, it always seems like you shouldn't make purchases when you're half asleep. But anyways, I got some Nor'easter coming and uh, 
So I'm out of that and I'll be looking forward to getting some more of it next week. But I do appreciate you guys and um, helping me with getting this figured out. Um, I'm digging the cedar. That cedar is, um, I think that's going to be a really good choice. So we'll have to see how it works out. Anyways, you guys, I don't want to take up any more of your time. And just wanted to give you an update on the, on the man shed, Old Dominion. And um, hopefully when I see you next time, this will be progressed a little bit farther. Blessings.